All right, so this is the penultimate video uh, in this unit, and we're going to focus today on F7 and F8. Right, now in the previous video, we spoke about how we multiply algebraic fractions and how that's slightly different from how we just multiply normal fractions. We spoke about the first step being to factorize, the second step being to cross simplify all of this where possible. The fourth step was to multiply the uh, numerator and multiply the denominator and then the fifth step was to simplify if you can at the end. Now that's completely correct for multiplying algebraic fractions. Something that we need to consider now is if they ask us to divide algebraic fractions. We're going to follow the exact same process but there's going to be a difference at the beginning point because we're dividing by algebraic fractions we're going to do what we normally do when we divide fractions which is keep change flip right at the beginning okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go through an example of f7 so that's by the way going to be our new one two three four and five for dividing algebraic fractions right F7, you'll see we can't actually factorise, but that's okay. It's good practice for the more challenging questions, which are going to happen in, in F8. So an F7 example would be 6x over 3x divided by x over 1 over, so x minus 1 over x minus 2. Okay, first thing we think, dividing uh, algebraic fractions, keep change flip. So that will become 6x over 3x still, multiplied by x minus 2 over x minus 1. Okay, because we're flipping that. Now, I would now look, can I factorise? Can't factorise that, can't factorise that, nor that, nor that. So I can't do that. Can I cross simplify? Do 3x and x minus 2 have anything, anything in common? Nope. Do 6x and x minus 1 have anything in common? Nope. So therefore I can't do that or that. So therefore I multiply the numerator, so 6x times that. Now I'm not going to expand it, okay? Be 6x, bracket, x minus 2, over, multiply denominator, 3x times that is 3x, and then x minus 1. Right, now I think, can I simplify at the end? 6x and 3x, they both go into 3x. So I can divide this by 3x and divide this by 3x. If I divide this by 3x, 6x divided by 3x is just 2. 3x divided by 3x is 1. Again, I don't need to put it there because it doesn't affect what's happening with the rest of the denominator. So my final answer would be 2 bracket x minus 2 over x minus 1. Final answer. Okay, now that's F7. So that's fairly straightforward and we're missing the first two. Oh, sorry, it's step 2 and step 3 there. However, for F8... F8. I'm still going to, because I know I'm dividing by algebraic fractions, I'm still going to write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to remind myself that I've got five steps here that I want to consider. Okay, the question is 2x plus 3 over 5 divided by 6x plus 9 over 10. Okay. Keep change flip, that's our first step here, because I'm dividing. So therefore it'll be 2x plus 3 over 5, that stays the same, times by, flip that, 10, 6x plus 9. Good, right, second step, can we factorise? Can we factorise this? Nope, 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 yes. So therefore I'm going to do it here, so I've got space for my last example coming up for F8. So I'll rewrite out the first line. Uh, the first fraction, 2x plus 3 over 5, times by 10 over, both of them go in the 3 times table, so 3 comes out over 2x plus 3. Okay, that's us factorising it. Our third step was, can we cross simplify? 2x plus 3, 3 bracket 2x plus 3, yes, they both go into 2x plus 3, so therefore I can divide this by 2x plus 3, and I write 1, because nothing else is there. Divide this by 2x plus 3, I don't need to write 1, because it won't affect the 3 there. I then look, can I cross-simplify for these next bits as well? The answer is yes. 5 and 10, they both go into the 5 times table. So I divide 5 by 5, 
to get 1, I divide 10 by 5 to get 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, final answer. So this whole question here turns out just to be that final answer because we're accurately factorising and cross-simplifying. Okay? Last example. x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x plus 2 divided by x squared minus x minus 30 over x plus 5. Okay, looks complicated in the exam. Worth probably three or four marks. It isn't. Step one, divide, keep change flip. x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x plus 2 and I times that and I flip these two x plus 5 over x squared minus x minus 30. Right, uh, second step was to factorise. Can I factorise this? Yes, it's a quadratic, so I absolutely can. Two numbers at times to get 6, add to get 5. The x plus 2, x plus 3 over x plus 2. Then I times that by x plus 5. And then I say to myself, can I simplify that? The answer is yes. So it will be x minus 6, x plus 5. Okay. Right. Now I look, can I cross simplify? Nope. Can I cross simplify? Nope. So therefore I'm going to multiply them. But watch how I do this. Multiply numerator and numerator. So it would be x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 5. And then that would become x plus 2, x minus 6, x plus 5. Remember, my last step is, can I simplify further? Now, because I've got one fraction here, I can. x plus 2 and x plus 2 cancel out. x plus 5, x plus 5 cancel out. So therefore leaves me with my final answer of x plus 3 over x minus 6. And that's that. Okay, good luck.